This morning, Republican voters in D.C. will hit the polls to pick the party nominee for president. The primary itself lasts three days, and it's only in one location. There is not usually a strong turnout for this, but this could be Nikki Haley's best chance to win a primary. Megan McGrath joins us live from the Madison Hotel in Northwest with the details. This is rather unusual, Megan. Well, there's not a lot of uh, Republican voters in the District of Columbia. Bottom line, we're used to going to polling places that are in schools or fire stations, places like that. But this is actually the Republican uh, primary is actually happening in the hotel that you see behind me here, the Madison on 15th Street. But today, Republican voters in the district will head to the polls. And for really the next several days, they'll be casting their ballots for president in the GOP primary. As we said, the voting is happening here at the Madison Hotel on 15th Street downtown. Donald Trump and Nikki Haley headline the field of candidates on the ballot. Now, Trump has won every GOP. GOP primary contest so far. But Washington, D.C. may be Haley's best chance to beat Trump and claim a primary victory of her own. Now, at stake are the district's 19 delegates to the Republican National Convention this summer. Nikki Haley has a campaign event in D.C. later on today. And yesterday she was in Virginia and spoke to our Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Julie Carey about why she's stopping in D.C. Anywhere and everywhere. I mean, it's right there. Why wouldn't we do it? This is about touching as many hands as we can, getting our voices out as much as we can. And so there, we're not leaving any stones unturned. We have a country to save. And so D.C.'s Republican primary gets underway today. Uh, the polls open here at 8 a.m. The voting will continue through Sunday. Uh, registered Republican voters can cast their ballots here at the Madison Hotel. Polls close Sunday at 7 p.m. Back to you. All right, Megan, thank you very much.